What's up guys, Complies here. First off, I need to say thank you for all the support recently that I've been getting. I haven't been as active or playing Apex as much as I should be, but you guys are still showing so much love and giving me a ton of support. So really, I want to say thank you. Now, if this video helps you, remember to like and subscribe and also leave a comment down below. Be sure to check out all my other social media links in the description below as well. And most importantly, be sure to follow my Twitch. Now, just a heads up, I haven't been playing Apex that much. I've been playing a lot of PUBG as I've kind of fell back in love with that game. But I will be back on the Apex grind very soon. But for now, let's get right into the video. So today's video is going to be an interesting one. I'm going to be showing you how to configure Kovacs specifically for Apex Legends. And we're going to try and match it to your game settings as close as possible. I'm going to show you guys how to match your FOV, your sense, your ADS sense, and what I believe are the optimal settings for Kovac. But first, I need to clear up some misconceptions about Kovacs and aim training in general. So obviously, playing an aim trainer isn't going to make you a pro. I see it as more of a supplement to helping you get better, because nothing is going to be as good practice as just playing the game itself. But with Kovac, it takes your aim out of the equation, which will help you to develop game sense, movement mechanics, stuff like that much more easily and quicker. It also helps with mouse control, which can help you in just about any game you play and can transfer over from other FPS games so that all your skill isn't just in one game itself. Now as for how long you should be training, personally, I don't think you should be training any longer than a couple hours a day. Even that itself is a lot of time. What I recommend is going for just about an hour or more each day. What I do personally is I play for about half an hour. I do one run of a playlist. I'll take a little break, stretch, you know, get some water and then come back and do another playlist or do that same one again. Or what I'll do is I will do about half an hour before I play and then half an hour after I play. There are a couple videos on this. I can't explain it to a scientific level, but I know that when you aim train before bed, you retain those skills much, much better. Now, like I said, I don't know exactly how to explain this. I'll leave a link to the video in the description below, but it is true and it does work. So personally, I'd probably recommend 30 to 45 minutes before your session and then 30 to 45 minutes after your session. As for how often you should do it, you should be doing this every single day. I see a lot of people talking about consistency and how one day they're a god at the game and the next day they can't hit a single shot. Doing this every day is what helps build that consistency up so you can play like a god every single time you hop on. So now that I got kind of the basic questions out of the way, I'm going to be going into Kovac right now to show you guys how to set this up. So now that we're on Kovacs, I'm going to be showing you how to match your Apex settings. So first off, what we're going to want to do is go to Sensitivity Scale, set that to Apex Legends, FOV Measurements, set that to Apex Legends as well. Then we're going to be setting our sensitivity. Now I play on a sense of 1.5, but that's just me. Yours is probably going to be something different. Honestly, I'd recommend anything from 1.1 to 1.9. I wouldn't go any higher or lower than that, just because I feel like if you go lower than 1.1, you're going to be missing out on the ability to perform micro adjustments easily. And if you go above 1.9, you're gonna be missing out on the ability to control the mouse. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Obviously, some people are different and may be able to play the sensitivities very well, but personally, I can't, and that's just kind of what I'd recommend. Let me make sure vertical sense is locked. And now for FOV, personally, I play on 110. Some people may play lower than that. This is what I play, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at 110. And then after that, we'll be going into our crosshair settings. For crosshair, what I would recommend is I would do the dot, and I like to make it red, and I change the color of the bot just so that that's not red. Now I do this because it closes resembles the red dot on the 1x hcog so i do that just to help build up consistency and get used to it which are going to help you a lot with your aim and then i set it pretty small anywhere from 0.3 to 0.6 but i use 0.4 so once you do that now we're going to go to the graphics settings over in video now what i do is i turn everything on the very lowest setting possible now this may make your game look like crap but the lower your settings are the less that your graphics card has to do so the less time it has spent rendering the lower input lag you get so these are the settings that i would recommend now once we have that we're going to be setting up our ads sensitive Sensitivity. So let's hit save. And now we're going to be going out of Kovac. So I'll show you how to do this. Now for this step, I'd recommend you open up a little text document so that we know what we're doing and you can write down your values. So go ahead and just name this ADS sense. Spelled that wrong because my keyboard sucks, but okay, we'll roll with it. So first, what you're going to want to do is open up the link in the description to the Apex Legends calculator. And now we're going to be matching our settings to this. So I play 800 DPI. I'll enter an 800. My res is 1920 by 1080. So we're going to go ahead and leave this the same. My sense Sensitivity is 1.5, so I'll turn that. And now my ADS sense is 1.1, so I'll put that there. Now all we have to do is find our field of view multiplier or CL underscore FOV scale, and I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. So in your search bar, go down to here, type in saved games, click on that, respawn, apex, profile, 
profile.cfg. And then it should be the third option down, seal underscore FOV. We're gonna to wanna to highlight that, we'll copy it, and then we'll paste it in right here into the field of view multiplier. And then over here, we'll have all our values that we need to plug into Kovac. So now we're gonna to wanna to open up the notepad for our ADS sense. So our sense will be 1.24 and our FOV will be 94.28. So now we'll just go ahead and minimize that for now. And then we'll go right back into Kovac. Okay, so now that we're loaded back into Kovacs, what we need to do now is go to a scenario that supports ADS tracking. My favorite one that I do personally just to warm up and kind of get my hands ready for a Kovac session is Ascended Tracking 90 Small. This is good because it has varying distances and you can practice on your regular sense and your ADS sense. So once we have this loaded up, we'll go into our settings, weapons, and we want to make sure the default is not selected, but ADS full hit scan cone is selected. So once we go down a little bit, you'll see zoom FOV measure, make sure that is set to Apex Legends. And now we're going to be entering in our FOV for the value that we just got out of that calculator. So remember mine was 94, so I'll be inputting 94. So now we're going to go to the next step, which is actually setting up our sensitivity multiplier. And then for this, all that we need to do is divide our FOV sense by a regular sense. So the FOV sense that I got from my calculator calculator was 1.24. So what I will do is I'll do 1.24 divided by 1.5, which should give me a value of roughly 0.82. And that is what I will insert in right here. And now we have our ADS sense configured. And now one more setting that I want to go over is in visuals. And what I would personally recommend for your wall texture is I would just do a solid color just because I feel like it's the least distracting. So you can focus on your targets a little bit more, but obviously this is personal preference and you can set it to whatever you want. That's just what I would recommend. So do what you please. But now we have all of our settings configured and matched to our apex settings now we're going to get into the good stuff which is the actual guides that i've used to help improve my aim so the first routine that we're going to be going over in, and probably the biggest routine in the aim training community is the aimer 7 guide now i know this is kind of outdated and if you are anywhere past i'd say intermediate level or i guess in apex terms if you are anywhere from like mid plat and up i probably wouldn't recommend this however i would recommend to give it a read as the theory behind aiming in this is very good and will give you a lot of insight Insight. So yeah, take a look at the routines and if they're too easy for you, go ahead and go to the next one. But do give this a read as I believe it'll help you to gain a lot of insight and hopefully you can apply some of it to help improve your aim. Now the next one we're going to be going over is the Sparky routine, which kind of builds off of the Aimer 7 routine. Now once again, be sure to give this a read. This is one that I probably recommend for a lot of people to start doing. This is one that I've done for a while personally and I feel has helped me a ton in just developing muscle control and helping it better my aim in general. But the next one we're going to is the issue specific training routines, which is a guide made by Cine, the owner of Sparky and Aimer 7. And here you can focus on smoothness and precision, speed, large angles, and reactivity. And building all of those things up together is going to help give you insane aim. So this is a very good routine to go through and probably one that I recommend you guys doing. Once you're sort of to an advanced level and you kind of have the basics of aiming down and you're looking for something a little bit harder, definitely do this. Now the next one we're going to be going to is the Sparky Apex routines. Now these are routines made specifically for Apex to sort of mimic the in-game scenario and the way that you would be aiming in game. Now this one is very, very good. I've used this one a ton and this is the one that I feel definitely translates the best to in-game skills because like I said, you can't be relying purely on Kovac to develop your aim, but with this one, you can rely on it just a little bit more because a lot of it does closely mimic the aiming situations you find yourself in. So this is one that if once again, you're like anywhere from intermediate to advanced level, start doing this and I promise you, your aim will improve a ton. The first one, sort of for beginners. The second one is an overall routine to sort of build you up over time. The third one, like I said, issue specific. If you're trying to look for one or two things to focus on, do this. And this last one, I recommend everyone who plays Apex and is sort of, and is above beginner level to do this one. Now I also leave in the description below my personal routines that I do, which are kind of things that I've taken from each one of these scenarios. So if you want to check that out, go ahead, download it. But now that we have this done, I've showed you all the scenarios and I've showed you all the playlists that you need to be doing. I'll be showing you some YouTubers is so first we have Prosper Ames. He's mostly a Valorant player, but he has a lot of insight and a lot of useful videos to help improve your aim. He focuses a lot on the theory and science that goes behind aiming. So definitely go and check out his videos as I've learned a lot from him. Next is Christmas is Cancelled. This guy is a Kovax wizard. I definitely recommend to check out some of his videos if you're looking to improve on certain scenarios. He also has a lot of good videos on just Kovac in general. Next is someone I really like a lot. His name is Ron Rainbow Kim. Now he goes a lot into the theory and science behind aiming, but he also goes a lot 
into ergonomics and proper equipment. If you're looking on how to improve your ergonomics, such as how you hold your arm or how, for how far to sit away from the desk or what kind of equipment you should be using, check out him. He's very good for that. And the very last one is someone that I like a lot. His name is Coach Naiho. He focuses more specifically on Apex content. So if you're looking to improve your mechanics as well as game sense, check him out. He's very, very insightful and definitely knows what he's talking about. Now that's it for the four YouTubers that I recommend. Now I'm going to be showing you some discords you can join if you have any questions or if you're looking for more info. So the first one is the official Clovax discord. This one is very good as you can get a lot of questions answered by the people who have actually created Clovax and a lot of high level aimers. And next is the Sparky aim discord. This one's very good because it's a like-minded community who all come together with the sole intention of getting better at aiming. They offer tons of stuff like advice, spot reviews, routines, coaching, game specific things that you can do to help your aim. And overall, I just feel like it's a very good discord to join. The last discord that I'm going to be recommending is everyone's favorite, the Yuki aim discord. Now, once again, it's kind of similar to the Sparky discord or it's just a community of people who want to get better aiming. So yeah, it just kind of relates back to what I said about the Sparky Discord. They offer coaching, reviews, and it's also just a very good community to join if you're looking to meet like-minded people who just want to get better aiming and play games and play them at very high levels. And also, their logo is the coolest thing ever. It's like, why wouldn't you want to join? Okay, so that's it for all the Discords that I recommend. Now I'm going to be showing you just one Reddit. If you don't have a Reddit account, you should definitely make one. It's a great website. It's got a ton of info on it, a ton of great communities to join. Now this is a developer-supported subreddit, and it's got a ton of great information. Like the first post is five physical changes to improve your aim, and it's got a lot of people like Kenny Benchmark explaining how they do it, things like that. Just tons of stuff to help you improve. I definitely recommend looking this out, checking the subreddit, you know, every other day, every day, whatever you want to do. I check it a lot while I'm at work. Tons of useful information in here. It's going to help you a ton. So I know this video was kind of long and I didn't go into the scenarios and playlists too much, but that's going to be for you to do and for you to decide what's best for you. I can't tell you what you need to improve on. You need to focus that out yourself and find what suits you the best. Basically, this video is just there to give you the tools to do that and basically put them all right in your lap so that you have everything you need to improve your aim now once again if you made it to the end of this video i really appreciate it you're amazing i love you thank you all for the support recently if you haven't yet be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if this video helped you out please go to the description below and follow my twitch channel it'd mean a lot but yeah anyways thank you guys for watching the video appreciate you all so much peace